Hi there, Ruben Cornell here. I'm a composer, writer for the Native Instruments blog, and I also produce loads of walkthrough videos for various sample library and plugin companies. In this track breakdown, I'm going to be taking a look at a short cue that uses only Heaviosity instruments. I've been using Heaviosity products for years, and I'm a real fan. Because I put together a lot of demo tracks for various sample library companies, during that process I'm asked to showcase the products, so it's fun to challenge myself to write a fully formed track using only the products that I'm looking at. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Using only Heaviosity's Gravity and its five expansion packs, Novo and its three expansions, and the newly released Forzo Modern Brass. Setting limitations like this can really help you to get to know your libraries, as it often inspires some out-of-the-box thinking. In fact, I've mainly just used one track from each product, with a couple of them doubled up for emphasis. Here's a little snippet of the track, I'll play the whole thing at the end of the video. So let's have a look at the session in Logic as it's my preferred door. The first thing I did was load up one track of each of the products using NI's Complete Control plugin. Now that Heaviosity instruments are all NKS compatible, you can launch them right within Complete Control. Using my S88 keyboard, it's really easy to browse the sounds on offer just by hitting the browse button and scrolling through with the four way push encoder. You can navigate through the different categories of presets really quickly, and everything has an audio preview as you scroll through. Because Heaviosity instruments have so many different kinds of presets, this way of browsing came in really useful as I was choosing my sounds. So quick and simple to use. The bulk of the percussion here is from Gravity, a workhorse sound design library full of modern scoring tools. There's everything here from risers to hits, pads to stings. The hit patch that I used maps a variety of different types of effect to the coloured keys. With a cool designer for combining multiple elements for tempo synced one note playback. Instead of that, I've actually kept things really simple this time around and used the individual hits more like a drum kit. The punish knob in the centre dials in a little saturation and overdrive. The five different Gravity expansions, as well as all other Heaviosity products, are completely standalone libraries, and I've used elements from each one. Natural Forces is full of samples taken from Foley recordings of environmental sounds, water, weather, and natural ambiences. These are available without processing. But there's lots of fun to be had with the hybrid pads, stings, and textures that have been designed from these sourced sounds. Most of these have multiple layers so you can remix in the engine, along with rhythmic effects and transformations. I've used just a single sound, a reversed sweep. Gravity Expansion Pack Vocalese is a favourite of mine. This combines the human voice with some fantastic sound design. There are hundreds of sung improvisations in the Phrase menu folder. From the four minor keys, I've chosen C minor as it's close to the D minor of my track, and used the pink key range to match the played pitch.
I've also swapped out the default reverb for this one. There's a ton of other processing I could have done with the Gravity Engine, but these pure vocals don't need much messing about with. I've used Vocalese again on another track for a building vocal ensemble, choosing one of the three voice stacked presets from the sustained vowels folder. To add some stereo movement, I've permanently turned on the panned modulation in the trigger effects page, which you'd normally use with the hotkeys at the top just here. I've also programmed a volume modulation on all three layers using the motion page. Very easy to do using the tools for each sequencer. Heaviosity's second gravity pack for vocals, Vocalese 2, takes things up a gear with even more phrases, pads, sustains and even a collection of remix motifs, which I really love. I've dropped in a couple of these straight out of the box to add some crazy vocal glitches. I've used scoring guitars for a couple of years now, and I find it very useful for subtle underscoring work. The pulse and phrase patches map lots of different loops across the keyboard, with pitch controlled by the pink key switches. Because there are so many performances all within one patch, I've been able to use just one door track for the whole cue and switch phrases in and out on the fly. Whereas Scoring Guitars 1 is all about subtle organic tones, Scoring Guitars 2 contains more amped up sounds. I've used a couple of the phrases to add emphasis on the downbeats at the beginning of the cue, and then they chug along as the piece gets going. Again there's very little processing added in the gravity engine, some reverb, delay and the all important punish dial cranked up to the mid 30s. Let's talk about strings. Heaviosity's Novo Modern Strings combines both traditional and evolved patches depending if you're looking for a straight up string section or something with a more hybrid flavour. I've used one of the Sol Ponticello articulations to begin the cue, a light airy tone. Of the four mic options I've opted for the full combination.
The spiccato cellos on the next track carry the bulk of the rhythm, and here I've used a couple of little tricks. I've scooped out the frequencies around 500 Hz to reduce the mud, and emphasised a little bit of the aggression at around 2 kHz. In the space options, I've set a large hall for the reverb, and also a subtle quarter beat delay at full width, giving a ping pong effect. This delay isn't really hugely noticeable as the track plays through with all the elements, but it does give a subtle bounce to the part. With the basses playing an octave below, I've made a couple of different adjustments, losing the delay to keep the part defined. To help with this definition, I've also emphasised the close mics, and set the bowing direction to constantly play the down bow samples. Normally bowing direction is automatically controlled and sounds very realistic, but here I'm sacrificing some realism for aggression. Novo Pack 1 Intimate Textures is full of more subtle string performances, from natural playing styles to wild pads and arpeggios. I've used the Texture Designer to load in three different string performances and program a macro to drive the EQ, Filter, Drive, Gate and Space parameters. There's some complex modulation going on here, and if you want to get into the detail, you can do some really crazy stuff with the Novo engine. Novo Rhythmic Textures features smaller string sections playing rhythmic motifs and I've used the Detaché Raindrops loops. Actually this is a favourite technique of Hans Zimmer, taking small quiet ensemble recordings and turning them all the way up to the level of the rest of the strings. Quick mention for this patch from Novo Synthetic Strings, which contains samples from analogue and digital string based synths. The synth loop designer is just one element of the library, and I've used it here to create a continuously modulating drone tone. Forzo Modern Brass is a beast of a library and contains both traditional brass performances and evolved hybrid timbres. I started with one of the hybrid patches with three sounds spread across the keyboard. And then I added modulated gating. Also turning on the distortion, reverb and delay in the master effects section pushes the sound right to the front of the mix. Adding in the twist parameter gives even more character, constantly changing the sound. The final track is a standard trumpet ensemble sustain patch from Forzo with added gating.
So those are the individual tracks. Let me talk for a minute about the actual composition. Basically, it's a huge builder, adding in elements as it goes along. The main string motif is supported by the chugging guitars and kick smashes from the percussion. Everything else is pure embellishment. Because there's no real mid-range or high percussion, I've used the several mutated gated synth parts to drive the track forward. Almost every melodic element is gated here or has an arpeggio, so this is a good example of not having to use lots of percussive elements if your rhythms are strongly defined. I've tried to vary up the string parts and percussion to a certain extent as the key runs through. This adds more interest, changing from D minor to G minor and switching some of the string motifs to slightly different notes the second go around. The riser effects bridge the gaps between sections, quite often with the instruments dropping away on beats three or four before slamming back in on beat one. As you can see, there's absolutely no external mixing processing in Logic, as I wanted to do everything within the Heaviosity instruments, just to see if I could. The only thing I've added is some master bus processing with Isotopes Ozone. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me. To end, here's the full track.